You're watching a segment of Shiftcast. If you want to see the full show, head over to the live tab on YouTube or get to Spotify to listen to the full episode. Enjoy. Next segment, Double Down, Open Qualifier 6 Edition. We are each going to make a prediction regarding the final major spots that are up for contention. And we'll revisit this, seg uh, this segment after Open Qualifier 6 are finished. Anyone want to go first? I'll go first. Okay. Do it. So just to just to make sure, these are we're gonna give takes about this weekend's mm -hmm. events. Yeah. So, so that'll be the finals, but it'll be it, let's let's I, well, the way I wrote it was related to the final major spots. So like a team that will or will not make a major, right. a right. team that will whatever. Yep. It pains me to say this. It, it really okay. it really does. It pains me to say this. Okay. Oh no. I know I shouldn't be saying it. Oh no. My first double down that we did, or our first silence the silence the doubters we did. Oh no. I, I said it and uh it let me down. Yep. Oh. But listen. But you're going they've back. had six chances, and on the very last one with their backs to the wall, they're gonna do it. M eighty are making the major. I know I just did a whole thing about OG, but in the time that I was listening thinking about it, I was like, mm, kinda boring, kinda lame. And you know who knows what's gonna happen in that Swiss? Like yeah, they could, you know, yeah. they could do something weird. So you know what they say: fool me once, shame yep. on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. They they don't have a saying for fool me six times. So they don't. Uh, let's figure it out right now. <laughs> and it, Michael and said he's to the major. Come Michael on. said he is quintupling down. Yes, I am se sextupling. I believe <laughs> uh, down on M eighty. There's just like, come on, guys, let's just figure it out. There's only one yeah, chance. I mean, I you're get staring, it though, because you you're just staring feel like, at how it. does it continue to happen? You're staring at an eight month off season. You're just going to go out like this? Like, this is sad. Mm. Mm. Hint? I am looking to the team that dropped the king. Mm. But they will be on the throne themselves. Crew Esports Ooh, is I like that only. Day. Four points behind Ninjas in Pajamas and Team mm -hmm. Secrets. Of course, it's going to be tough, but they can snatch that major spot away from them. Ooh. That is my take. I like that, that is a team with AJG, Bems, and Wisty, Good team. which aren't the greatest individual players out of the region. They're not, but they're a good team. Yeah. And they've been losing too much to Furia. But they've not been losing that much in general. They have to get pretty far to make this happen. But crew could do it. Crew could do it. It's a hot take, but they could do it. I like it. All right. I already talked about it earlier, and I'm just going to go ahead and double down Lock on it. it in. Snowmen. They go major. They get their top four. We see OG and Cloud9 bounced at top eight. So I'm not going to stop at the major. Snowmen, they go top eight at the major, and they go into Worlds. The young oh. guns, the, the, the babies I love it. are I love out of the stroller, so and they are taking off running. The babies have hit the ground run. Their, their, their eyes are on the prize. I think that team, here's what I do think in the future, and that team may not be those three players, but I do think two or, or, or maybe all three of them will find themselves on major regular teams. Um, where where they're no longer fighting to get in, they are there. Maybe even contending for top fours, maybe a win. I think that team has so much talent. It's just very green. They're very new. So we're talking about Scribbles, Reveal, and Frosty. Who do you think has the best chance of really making it individually? Scribbles on this team or not? Scribbles. I like Scribbles. I like Scribbles. He's and so it's not young. even about it's not even about the ability because I actually think all of them are are pretty similar. I think Frosty probably has an edge. Um, in mechanics maybe at the moment but scribbles i've had a bit of interaction with him and he is extremely mature for and i'm not even actually not 14 year old. he's he's mature period he mm -hmm. just understands the situations that he's in um i'll give an anecdote here so he he popped into my stream a few times a long time ago not so much anymore uh, but this was kind of when age was still 15 and he was still dabbling in ones and whatever else and somebody in the stream was making jokes like hey you know seiko Zen, if you get banned, yeah. world champion, right? And he is just very quickly like, no, 
I'm taking it serious. Like I'm not taking any chances. I know what opportunity I have in front of me. I'm going to make sure that I'm, I'm working by the books. I'm doing what I need yeah, to do. Wow. You, you, if you follow him on Twitter, you know, it's inevitable that young bubble scene just has silly beef and, and trash talk and whatever. And he, y'all you know what I'm saying? When I'm saying he sons people, mm -hmm. he, he is 14 and, and calling these immature people out for, for, you know, acting so That's silly. That's pretty funny. And so I just, I really like where his head's at from what I see, from what I know, which obviously I don't know him personally, but from what I've seen from him, I, I feel like he has got his head on straight. He's young, so much time ahead of him. I think Scribbles, yeah. um, but all yeah. three of them, all three of them. Yeah. I, I, I like I'd like, to see, awesome. I'd like to see him join up. Uh, I'd like to see him go. If this team doesn't work out, I'd like to see Scribbles join SSG. I look at what El Sajin you did for LJ, developing sure. into him, because they, they've been in step for years. Right. Um, and in a shift interview with Sajin, he said, you know, I sat down with the kid when he was 14 and said, listen, you listen to me, I'll make you one of the best players in the world. He didn't lie. So I'd like to see him lie. join up with a, with, a, with a coach that really knows what he's doing. If, you know, like you said, if, if he has that level of maturity, and I think he can right. develop into an elite piece yeah. very fast. Yeah, if, if you're... If your take, your hot take, is something to go by, that would make him 14 years old at the World Championship because his birthday is in November. Mm. Wow. That would be well, so well, well. crazy. That would, would be insane. If they, if they baby, went on a huge right? surge here at the final two events of the season to, to snag that fourth world spot, that would be... 2009. Would be such a fun story. Oh, nine. Anyway. Yeah. And, and this is... y'all. I mean, we talked about this too, where at the beginning of season, we said, you know, in a has unfortunately been kind of the, the butt of the joke for, what, two two years now. And we said, hey, just hold on. Yeah, There's some talent they're coming. They're coming. So if you're an NA fan, you need to be cheering for these young guns mm -hmm. to uh, just bring their A game. All right, there is our hot takes. Y'all let us know some of yours down in the comments below regarding the major spots for these upcoming, uh, upcoming regionals. That was just a segment of Shiftcast. Full episode is on the live tab on YouTube or on Spotify, and you can watch another segments right here.